All right, so we're going to do a demo here of completing your lab for assignment 12. It's using the same GSS data that we talked about for our last lab. And we have two chi-square questions to answer. Both of these analyses will require the test of independence or contingency table analysis. So we're going to look at how to do this in JASP. We have the variables and the name that will be printed in JASP for each of them to make them easier to find. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run one of these. So we're going to run this latter one, which is actually a little more difficult to look at because there are more categories for the two variables. So there's more rows and cell or rows and columns, so more cells to look at. So we're going to do that. I'm not going to complete the interpretation in full, but it'll have the values. I need you to look at the example write-up that has been uploaded and use that write-up as your template to submit this assignment. Okay. So let's take a look at our data. Again, it's that same data set. If you download this, it's an SAV file. It'll be able to open directly with JASP. And it'll look like this. All right, so to run our analysis, all we need to do is go to frequencies, and we are doing contingency tables. So with a contingency table, it's going to preload, and it's going to do chi-squared tests for us. Uh, we'll use some of the options to uh, look at things that are going to give us more detail. So we need party ID and Nate, Nate in environment, Nat environment. All right, so what we're looking at is whether political party uh, affects belief about whether or not enough is being done by the government to protect the environment. So we need to find party ID. You can do this by looking through the variable for party ID. Now, which one goes in row and column doesn't really matter. Um, because you'll get the same answers statistically, but it will look different. So I put this in rows, right? So those va values are going to go across the rows. Now, the other variable I'm going to put in columns. Now, you'd get the same answer if you flipped these, right? The same statistical analysis. It just would look different, right? So here we see that we have um, three levels of Democrat, strong, not strong, independent, near. We have independent, we have three levels of Republican, getting stronger in Republican, and we have other. Then you see that we have how they feel about the government, either that it does too little, about right, or too much to protect the environment. So this is our table, and these are the observed counts that we get. We've got our column totals, and we've got our row totals, and there is our total sample size. Okay, so now down here we have a chi-square statistic. The value is 959.47. That's enormous. <laughs> this is on 14 degrees of freedom. Why? 3 minus 1 is 2. And here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 groups. 8 minus 1 is 7. 2 times 7 is 14. So there's our 14 degrees of freedom. And we see that this is a statistically significant result with P less than 0.001. Now, you can get other options, such as our effect size phi Kramer's V here. So here is the Kramer's V coefficient. Now here, phi is not reported because technically phi is for two by two tables. If you have more than two by two tables, you need to use Kramer's V. And so here, Kramer's V is calculated instead of phi. It's the same kind of interpretation. So this is a, a small kind of relationship, but it's... A, still statistically significant. Part of that's because we have such a large sample size. You can also get the expected counts for your cells. It'll make your table look bigger, but it'll help to interpret where are the differences that we see. So when we look inside of these cell values, you want to see, okay, who's leaning towards the too much, the too little, right? So we're going to use that to interpret this. And really, once you've done that, you've got the information that you need. So now we're going to open up this table and let's try to interpret. So this is what we need to report. We ran a chi-square with 14 degrees of freedom. So let's, it would look like this. <clears throat> chi-square, and it's a chi, not an x, right? So insert the symbol, or you can use math language, but it's, it's the Greek letter chi, and it's lowercase. Chi-square on 14 degrees of freedom equals 9 Five nine. Man, writing with this is pain. Nine five nine point four seven. Okay, and then we'd have comma p less than point zero zero one. 
So that would be our chi-square result. And then we could, of course, report this Kramer's V at the end, right, as the effect size after another comma. All right. So we would report this result and say there's a significant relationship between party ID identification and beliefs about the government's activities to protect the environment. So what is this relationship? Okay, so let's look for the trends or the patterns. Let's see, in those who are strong Democrat, too little, yeah, we have more than expected for too little, about 250 cases. About right, less, too much, less. So strong Democrats think the government's doing too little. Not strong Democrats. Again, the, ex the observed is higher than the expected. Lower and lower. So again, not strong Democrats think the government's doing too little. Independent near Democrat. Those numbers observed is higher than expected, right? And lower and lower. So here's what we have right now. We've got that all of these people on the Democrat side, all of these Democratic groups, these three, more than expected to say too little, right, for the Dems. Okay, when we look at independent, I uh, kind of made that independent hard to see. Let's do it one more time here. So the too little for the blues goes through here, right? And so more than expected for too little. Uh, we see the observed for independent. The observed is greater than expected still. Lower, lower. So independents group in here with the Democrats thinking the government's doing too little. So Democrats and independents kind of fall on that side. Republican side. Okay, so now this number is smaller than expected. And these numbers are greater than expected. Okay, let's look at the next group of Republicans. Smaller than expected. Greater than expected. Smaller than expected. Greater than expected. Other. Greater. Okay, so Republicans are all on this side. All right. Other got some greater here, less here, greater here. So no real clear pattern here, some small differences, but this other party doesn't seem to have a real strong story for us to tell about them. So we're not going to worry about them as part of the bigger story here. So our big story is that those who are independent or democratic leaning, right, tend to be more likely than expected to say the government is doing too little to protect the environment. Those who are Republican tend to be more likely than expected to say the government is doing too much to protect the environment. Okay, so that's the that's what we just tested for the relationship, and that would be the interpretation, right? So uh, a chi-square test of independence was performed to assess the relationship between political party identification and beliefs about the government's actions to protect the environment. The chi-square test was statistically significant, and that's where we would talk about all these numbers being reported in our statistical write-up for APA style. These results indicate that those who were Democrat or independent were more likely than expected to say the government did too little to protect the environment. And those who were Republican were more likely than expected to say the government did too much to protect the environment. So that would be how you could execute this. You would need to do the same type of thing. You've got, remember, two analyses to run. So there's another one you need to do for our lab. In case you forget, we'll remind you here. So you need to also complete the analysis for sex and capital punishment. This is just a two-by-two two table, so it's much easier to look at. You'll run it the exact same way. You'll need to look at the same information to make sense of the relationship. So hopefully that gives you some sense of how to perform the chi-square test of independence to complete your lab for this week.